What's up guys? Welcome back to the Shelby Lifestyle. Today we're talking about a pretty important topic, the topic of money. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. Today's video I'll be answering my most uh, popular question. I don't really think what I do is anything special. 18 years old, driving a Ford Shelby GT 350R. A lot of people ask me what I do. I looked at these people on the internet and I see them having these cars and then making a business out of it. A lot of people, they think that um, my parents pay for this car or I'm some rich kid. No, that's definitely not true at all. I told you guys that I work in marketing. Uh, I've been in marketing for the past four to five years. And then making money out of it, which was a genius idea. Think about it. You have your car, you're making videos on your car. It's something that you love to do because you're driving around your car and then just videoing at the same time. Nobody has ever handed me anything. So today I don't have a full-time job anymore. Uh, I strictly do kind of like a couple of few side hustles uh, and one of them being YouTube. I went to high school with this kid who's just really smart and we did medical stocks together. With it is I bought the car, my, my dream car, and I'm making videos on YouTube about it and I'm getting paid money from it. And I'm making enough money now to pay the monthly payment on this car and pay for my college. Now with this car and and the ch and the Mustang, it's what I want. And it's what I'm I can I can afford. What's up, guys? My name is Shane, or better yet, known as Caffeinated Motors, and this is my 2020 Mustang GT. I think a very well asked question as a 19 year old is how do you afford a near fifty thousand dollar car? Car MSRP was forty five thousand dollars. Out the door in California, especially, it was fifty thousand dollars. So, this is an expensive car. You know, by no means is this cheap. And I want to start off by saying in this video, much unlike other videos on how people afford their cars, especially those you know around my age, uh, I am actually in a very privileged situation to get some financial assistance to get a car like this. Before I get into the specifics, guys, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a backstory. So, in 2005, I moved to the United States uh, from Iran, and I noticed the very first time I got here, the S197 and its taillights. I fell in love for whatever reason with the tri bar taillights of the Mustang. And ever since then, I swear I've always just wanted a Mustang. I don't know why. But I always gravitated towards a Mustang. I get super excited when I go on vacation with my parents and they would rent like a convertible Mustang. I'd just be like, oh my God, this car, I need it. And in 2015, the S550 came out. And just two months ago, I went ahead, went to the dealership and bought this beautiful machinery. Beautiful machine right over here. Now, how did I do this? Because I'm 19, I have no credit history. I have a good credit score, but I got no credit history at all whatsoever. So how did I go ahead and finance a near $50,000 car? I was co-signed. My dad has an amazing credit history and he co-signed me. He told me that he would match the down payment that I put down. And for a long time I saved up for this car and I put down my down payment, he matched it. And now I make monthly payments on this car. In terms of insurance, I'm under his insurance, so it's cheap. In terms of gas, that's probably the <laughs> the most annoying expense for me, especially living in California. But in terms of gas, you know, $4 gas in California, it's not its not really that easy. I will say that right now, uh, but I manage it. I work part-time. I'm a full-time student. I work part-time at LAX and I go to school full-time. Now I will say it is kind of a little bit of a stressful thing to go ahead and pay. I will say it is a little bit stressful making the payments on this car. It is not the easiest thing in the world. I work harder than what I would have to. And sometimes my bank account isn't as uh, large as I would like it to be, but I love cars. That's my thing. If, if you really want something, go out and get it. Now with my case, the reason this was able to be, you know, optioned out so much, Magnaride, a performance package, 418 package, uh, you know, premium package, all you can think basically, is because I had the financial assistance of my dad. Now, if I didn't have him, I would probably go ahead and get a used, maybe base 2018, maybe 2019 Mustang for about 30 grand. And that alone, I could have probably afforded in finance, but because of his assistance, I can get a car that's a little bit more expensive. Now, for those of you guys that I understand that everyone has the privilege of having someone help him like that, uh, you guys can still afford these Mustangs. Now, I will, I, I will give you guys this, you know, uh, but listen, I will give you guys this warning right now. 
it is expensive. At our age, I think there might be better things to do than finance a $50,000 car and go into all that debt. But if you really love Mustangs, if you really love cars, man, we're only young for so long, so go ahead and do it. Uh, but Dave Ramsey wouldn't be so nice to you, so all jokes aside. But yeah, guys, I'm co-signed. Thankfully, I mentioned that in my first video when I, you know, uploaded this car. I am co-signed. So we're driving to the dealership. Made a quick rock star stop. Are you ready? Yep. Guys, we're not too far off the dealership. Uh, we're just arriving there. I can't wait to see this car. Well, you can work with the government however you want. Dude. You remember how the other one was? It's got a little bit more warmth to it this time. Yeah, it looks more orange. It looks more orange. The other one looks a little bit like sherbet. This is a little bit more. I agree. We've had a Hey, here we go. So we got the manual transmission. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> my dad matched the down payment on this car and I make the monthly payments and the insurance is under my dad's name and gas is probably the most expensive thing. So unlike many other car enthusiasts that are young like me, like Rush Shift, Motor Tube, Speed Phenom, I will be honest with you guys. I, I will be transparent with you guys and uh, not, not b you guys. Um, in Speed Phenom's case, man, you know what, man? You're, you're doing great. Your content is, is way better than mine will ever be. Your content is amazing. And I'm happy for you, man. But the only thing is when you act like you bought those cars and I watched your video on how you afford these cars, come on, man. Your YouTube channel won't even be able to support your GT350. Let's be transparent, guys. With Rush Shift, he very well might be able to afford those two cars, but I know damn well he can't afford a house in Orange County. If any of you guys have any idea how Orange County real estate works, go ahead and look it up. Go on Zillow right now. Go look up some houses. See, tell me what you think. Now, maybe I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. Maybe he really does afford them. With MotorTube, man... <laughs> I don't want to say anything about him, you know, I, I think this guy gets beat on too much, but you know what, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt as well, but I, I feel like with all these guys, there's definitely some parental assistance going on there. Uh, but MotorTube, you know, being my cousin and all, I'll give you a pass, bro. Give you a pass, Ron. But yeah, guys, that is how I afford my 2020 Mustang GT. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you gave you some motivation that you can do it on your own. Maybe if you don't have assistance, you shouldn't go for the premium stacked out model, but it is possible. It really is possible. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's possible. <laughs> I don't take it for granted one bit, guys. I know I'm in a very privileged situation to have a car like this. I know many people my age would kill to have a car like this, and I never take that for granted. In fact, it actually sometimes doesn't even feel right that I'm in this car. You know, coming out from basically nothing to this you know it, it's it's a great feeling but it also uh never forget where you came from as well so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the transparency if you guys did enjoy the video drop a like if you haven't seen this channel before i welcome you to subscribe i will be posting a lot more content on this car no hate to the people mentioned in this video but i am calling them out on the basis of realism because let's be honest anyone with a functioning brain knows that these cars are expensive Parents help. Let's not be ashamed to admit it. We all work hard, but it never hurts to have a little bit of parental assistance. But guys, at the end of the day, we're all car enthusiasts, so you know, no real hate, just some realism. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Hope this cleared up some things for you guys, and uh, hope you appreciate the transparency and honesty. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.